to Linda Feeney, and today I'm making ramen noodles with turkey hearts. And we want to start with ramen noodles. Two packs. Now they have a pack that's inside of here. You can use it if you want to to just bring more flavor, but make sure you mix it around in the water before you um, before you if you want you know together with the ramen noodles. I would boil the water first and then put the ramen noodles in for like five or ten minutes. Then add the, the seasoning and put it up in there. Let it mix up, you know, stir it for like five, five minutes. And then once it boils and everything is combined, then you go ahead and put the ramen noodles on the platter here. And then once you have it on the platter, Take your tomato sauce. You want to get again like this traditional, um, or you can get a blue cheese. Or Okay, now I am going to 
show you how to make hearts. All right, we can do it. Flatten it out first. And once it's flattened, you want to go across. Just use your finger and go down in it to it. Like that. And keep going until you get the shape that you want. You just keep pressing and pressing and going around until you get it just like you want. Now you can use cutters, but I like to uh, shape. See, you know, I like I like to shape things. So sometimes it's good to feel the food and shape it because you feel like you really did uh, design it and you. You didn't have any real help. You just, it just looks, seems more homemade when you do it this way. And you just keep going until you get the shape that you want. Now you can make circles, you can make whatever you want to make, but I'm making hearts this time. And it takes a little while, so just keep working with it until it gets the way you want it. Just keep pushing and pressing and scoop. And the main thing is to go down in the middle like that. Because that's what's making the heart. And then smooth it out. And as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to a heart. Flatten it out first. Look at it. Try to round, get it a round shape. Once you get it a round shape, then you can start making the shape in the middle. That's gonna be like a guide to you. Then you start patting it. And pushing up. And squeezing up. Now if you mess up, it's okay. Just push it right back into it. And do it again until you get what you was looking for. Now this is a small one, but as you can see, it is into a heart. And I'm using my hand, but you can use the cutting board if you want to. But it's better. I don't know why, but on the hand, it looks. I I do better on, on the hand than I. You know, to demonstrate with y'all, but um, usually I will use a cutting board or, or a plate. You can use a plate, but there's the heart that we're looking for. And on that note, I see you guys on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Look down in the description box uh, for my recipe book if you're interested in uh, looking at more recipes. And just look in the description box. Have a good day. Bye.